Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rob. Been a long time since I've made an actual, you know, like this, uh, sideways Rob's Beer Talk, RBT. It's not just about beer. It could be really about anything that interests me or that I think might be interesting to you. This video hasn't been recorded yet, so I don't know whether it should be called This Is Not A Man Purse or Out and About or Eating Arby's In The Car. Oh, you ready? Yes, I would like a corned beef Reuben and a Greek gyro, and then I would like two large Diet Dr. Peppers. $16.81, $16.81 for two sandwiches and two drinks. Inflation, thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, oh, God. what a sneeze. Pulling off at Melwood Avenue to slide over to Apocalypse. I'm, I'm never clear on if you can park in their lot. Hey, what's up everybody? Happy first day of May. I'm down at Apocalypse Brewing just off I-64 and Melwood Avenue with my Louisville Ale Trail Passport. I counted up just a second ago and I think I have nine stamps. I don't, maybe I have 10, I don't know, but um, I'm not even sure how many you're supposed to have or what it means when you get that many. But I've gone to pretty much everywhere in this second edition with the exception of maybe Goodwood and Chimera. And I just haven't gotten there. It's not that I'm against those. Let's talk about Apocalypse for a second. If you want to sit out and have a beer, just kind of a cool, relaxing, no pressure deal, this is probably the best place to come in Louisville. I mean, it's really in a parking lot. You know, it was, a, it was an old plumbing company and the owner liked, he was a home brewer and they started home brewing here and, and they're still here. I guess it has to be one of the older, newer breweries in town, do you know? This was one of the first craft breweries that I remember you ever bringing me to. It may have been the first one you ever brought me to, besides BBC. That's Lisa um, over there. She's recounting uh, the craft breweries that I brought her to. And this was uh, like BBC. This is the second or third, it has to be. It has to be. Yeah. What was the first beer that I, that Rob, ever put on his kegerator when he got it many, many moons ago? Cremation Ale from in here, and that's what Lisa's drinking. Very tasty, very smooth, uh, light ABV. It's easy to drink. Anybody can, can enjoy a Cremation Ale, and if they can't, I'm going to look at them with the side eye. You know what I'm saying? This is the Apollo IPA. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're, we're down at Goodwood and we're just going to go in and ask them to stamp our Ale Trail passport and that way we won't have to drink beer because, you know, drinking responsibly is a, is a big part of this whole thing. You know, there's no reason to come out and just get loaded up on a, on a Sunday. Did they, they stamp care. it? Yeah, they didn't care. Awesome. They were like, yeah, we'll stamp it. We got a green stamp for you. Now it's off to Gordon Beers. 4th Street on a Sunday. Not a ghost town, but there's not a ton of people down here. Are, are you going to try to say it or not? No, I can't say it. You want me to try to say it? I don't know if you can see that or not, but it, it's you, so, win so windy out here, but it's chicken schnitzel sliders under, start. under starters at Gordon Beer. And so I asked Lisa to say, excuse me, sir, under starters, are the chicken schnitzel sliders at Gordon Beer tasty? Okay. Under starters. I can't even say starters now. You got me. Okay. Under starters, chicken, under chicken schnitzel sliders. <laughs> tasty. Tasty and more fierce. Some have said the chicken schnitzel sliders are quite tasty. And R's are my problem. And there's not an R in there till sliders. Oh Lord. Anyway, whatever. Cheers. Make fun of me all day long. It's been a good day.